My name is Inas Abu Hamid, and I am the CEO of H2Go Power, it's a hydrogen tech business based in London. We're here to talk about innovation, technology, and the role of clean tech in the energy transition and how it can impact Asia specifically. H2Go's Power's core mission is uh, really to look into the type of solutions that we will need to use to decarbonize the way we generate energy, consume energy, and transition energy from one place to another. We build hydrogen storage infrastructure technology and software solutions to manage large-scale hydrogen projects. Hydrogen, which is my specialty, and is a fantastic solution to introduce as an alternative. When you burn it or convert it, it does not generate carbon. So it gives you everything you need, which is the energy, and it doesn't give you everything you don't need, which is the carbon. Net Zero targets uh, are just becoming more uh, uh, urgent to adapt and act on. Asia does seem to have a big part to play in that. We do expect in the next few years a lot of progress coming out of Asia. Asia is showing great signs for readiness to invest and diversify its energy mix. That makes a, a high potential for a accelerating transition and adopting new technologies that have matured to a point where they can be used where the uh, economical and environmental cost is not heavy to the surrounding. Platform like Energy Asia are of critical importance at this point in time because acceleration is really important. And I do expect a lot of productivity uh, announcements, bilateral collaborations and, and agreements to be actually seeded at events like that. Transitioning to uh, a cleaner future will need a collective effort that will take governments, policymakers, business leaders, and also employees and uh, users to buy into what change needs to happen and adopt as fast as is needed to make the progress that will get us to the transition. With that collective effort, a lot of progress can be made and it has to be a collaborative cooperative mechanisms to accelerate the adoption and the growth of new technologies.